So I've been playing Elden Ring for at least a week by now, so this is my one week retrospective of the game. I have to say, for someone that didn't really like FromSoft games, this game is so good. If you don't like this game, I guess you know everybody has their preferences, but if you think this game is actually bad, even if you don't like the genre really, that's a crazy take. This game is amazing. I can see how this shit won game of the year. So, within my first week, a few things happened. Number one, I spent an hour fighting Margit. That motherfucker's a demon. I walked out and got caught bitchless by some guy called Var, Var ASN, like right after the tutorial area. Unfortunately for you, however, Did you, you are maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength of runes and... Did he say I get no bitches? And I was like, hey, who's this golden guy on the horse? Took my ass to the left. To the little building next to him because I was, he looked like trouble. And I'm glad I did that because I fought him later and I ran for it once I saw what he was capable of. Met the guy at the church, that was cool. He was trying to climb the church, fell down on top of him. Now I can't buy anything from him because he considered that I attacked his donkey so now he thinks I'm an enemy. Now I can't deal with that guy anymore. It's so much insane that's been going on. I have friends helping me so I've been guided. I went into the catacombs, got jump scared like four times by these freaking imp things that were like pretending to be statues. <laughs> it's been a fucking roller coaster, bro. <laughs> I fought a dog statue? I went to Florida. Oh my god, Florida was not it, bro. That's a terrible way to go. I saw a video that there was a good early game weapon there. I went over there. My God, I was horrified every second. The birds? Bruh. I don't know what they are. I don't know what they do. I haven't like had any enemy really attack me like that out there. I was kind of just running for it. But that place is scary as hell, bruh. And then I opened the chest and the chest teleported me back to that place but now i can't get out because i got teleported into a cave i had to get out of and i think they were slaves in there i don't know what was going on there was these guys mining and there was these creepy ass bug things with spears attacking them like not attacking them they were just watching over them and they were firing like 10 12 needles at me at once i was getting fucked up i just had to run for it bro there is so much to this game i really haven't played the open world game i enjoyed or a single player game I really sat there and could say, I was really satisfied by the end of it. I'm not even done with Elden Ring, and I am super satisfied. Like, Visions of Mana was satisfying for like the first half, but it started to drag on for a while. The, the story fell off really fast. This game, I don't know the lore at all. I don't understand what's going on. The other day, I just finally, last thing I did is I fought Godric, the Grafted. That fight was too easy, personally. I don't know if the boss was easy. But I don't even want to say that because I used the gold summon sign for whoever that was, that lady. But I used the gold summon sign a few times against the market and I was getting destroyed still. So I don't know what. Maybe Godric is just in way easier boss for some reason than Margit. But I didn't have much trouble. It only took me like two or three tries to beat Godric. I got some item from him. I don't know what to do with. Take it to a tower and it does something. I don't know. I found a place where I thought I was there alone and then all these spirits showed up. A freaking skeleton armored Sonic fell down on top of me and started chopping me into bits. There has been crazy experiences that I haven't felt. This game literally puts fear in me. <laughs> More than just the enemies being super creepy and stuff. Just the feeling of it. Like, um, the last difficult game I really played, I was S ranking all the levels in Cuphead on the highest difficulty. And I've been having, you know, I was having a hard time with that, but Cuphead is a hard game, but this game puts like fear into you as you're playing it. I'm like, bruh, I gotta really decide why I want to fight or do I even want to deal with this, bruh. I'll be seeing something, sometimes I'll see like a boss area, I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna turn the other way. I'm like, it don't look like I have to fight this, so I'll just come back later. Uh, you see golden smoke, I'm like, mm-mm, that doorway, there's nothing, there's nothing over there for me. Maybe for you guys, but definitely not for me. My friends are trying to bait me in the co-op. I was playing by myself, and I think I got invaded. I was like, what the? You can be invaded by yourself? I didn't know what was going on. I still don't know. I was in the Florida Blood Lake, 
and things were not going well. And by the way, if you don't know, when I say Florida, there's a place called Kayla that's just basically Florida. As a Floridian, I will say specifically that it is South Florida and it's very accurate. You want to come out of Florida and find out? Be my guest, but it's very accurate. <laughs> but between all of that, I went on like an hour mission to get one staff and then I found a spell for, I think it's a gravity spell? Rock sling or something? That was crazy. I found a pumpkin head boss version I had to fight, which gave me a freaking access to a teacher for magic. So now I have new spells. And if you don't know, I'm using intelligence. I'm an astrologer and I'm using intelligence for my build so far. Um, I heard faith has crazy stuff, but I'm already going down this path. My faith is at seven. My intelligence is like 22 or 23. And I'm kind of stuck with where I'm at right now. <laughs> until maybe super late in or if I decide to sit there and just rune farm. But I don't even know how to rune farm yet or where to go, so I'm just gonna stick to what the hell I've been doing. Either way, this game is fantastic. That's pretty much, for the most part, what has happened within my first week of Elden Ring. I can't think of any other moments that are like super notable. There may be more, but there was stuff that was happening in Florida. I found dragons, oh, that was the biggest one probably. I was in the lake and I saw like what, like a clan meeting. I was like a KKK meeting just out. It was like eight guys. And so, it was like these eight guys with torches looking at this fire. I was like getting prepped. Oh man, I can fight eight enemies at once. I was like testing. I was like, can I do it? If I use Glintstone Arc, maybe I'll make it useful for once. I start swinging it. I was getting ready to, not even start swinging. I get ready to start attacking them. I'm getting close enough to get in range. And basil geese falls down from Monster Hunter. I see a giant dragon land and kill all of them. I'm like, oh, hell no. And that was my first experience with a dragon. It is still there. I have not went back to even try to challenge it. I don't think I will be going back to challenge it anytime soon. Now, currently, I've finished Godric and I'm at the place after that. I don't remember the name of it right now. I met some guy at the church and gave him 10 runes, and I think there's some sort of quest tied to him. I have no idea. I haven't been back to the round table in like four days, so I don't know what's going on there anymore. There is a lot of stuff on my mind in this game, but also, yeah, that's the last thing that happened. I fought a lobster, and I left it alone. I was running from it, horrified, and then a lobster shot something at me, and it jump scared the hell out of me. Oh my god! Oh my god! Bro, I fucked with the wrong one. Bro, bro, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. I haven't been jump scared as many times in a long time. I think the last time I was jump scared as many times was when I played Quartz Party like two years ago. And that's a horror game, so I should be. But I digress. That's all I gotta say on Elden Ring for now. Game is great, and I'm not a FromSoft fan like at all. But maybe I've been lacking. Elden Ring at least deserves game of the year. Like, that's at the minimum. I don't have the DLC. I don't even know if I'm going to play the DLC. But this game, I don't know how long I'm going to be going through it. If I ever give up, I give up. But so far, I don't see myself giving up. But I've been having a good time. It feels so good to get your ass beat and then leave. Come back stronger and be like, all right, run that shit back, pussy. That's literally how it feels anytime you get your ass You got to come back, grind, and be like, run it back. I've been trained. Margaret is so such a good boss. I don't care what anybody say. When it comes to designing a game, I think Margit is a good boss. He teaches you a lot of shit. I was, he's literally my sensei at this point. And I finally, I was the student that surpassed the master. He taught me about these delayed attacks. He told, he's the one that, the reason I learned that iframes are a thing. During that fight, I learned you can spam magic like back and forth over and over. I thought you can only cast at a time and then have to wait for the recovery to keep doing it. I didn't know you could just keep casting it. I learned that magic took up stamina during that fight. There was so much shit Margit taught me. Great game. That's a great character. I don't understand the lore fully, but it's keeping me invested to a degree. The little bits of lore that I do pick up on. I'm like, okay, I want to see what's up with Fia. That's a character. I'm, that's one of the characters I'm most interested in. Um, Fia, Ronnie, or Rina, I don't know her name. The freaking blue witch that's a super bad best girl. And I guess Marika. Those are like the three um, characters I want to learn about most. And Margaret, because Margaret seemed cool as hell. Other than that, I ain't got nothing else to say. Let me know what y'all think about the Elden Ring, if y'all enjoy it, or what you think of my experience. If you want to check me out, I'm on Twitch playing it. 
So you can just check me. I'm usually on at midnight if you're gonna see me streaming. I'll probably start making announcements on YouTube when I'm live. But that's all I gotta say right now. True Kingsden, and I'm out.